Here I'll show you how to set up the ozone and a few little details around the construction, uh, the spar method, the landing gear, and so forth. The first step in assembly will be to deploy the landing gear. And I designed the rear of the plane so that the, the booms themselves would go all the way to the ground so that the ele elevator is protected so it can actually be stood up like that and worked on. The landing gear is deployed just by loosening the mounting nylon screw, pulling out, twisting and engaging the holes onto those two pins, and then tightening that back down. Try and get that oriented to the airstream. These metal plates act as the uh, sort of the load-bearing structure for the for the fuselage tube on the landing gear itself, and also as the mounting bracket for the wing, so that there is a screw that engages through this through the wing, so that it transfers all of the forces from the fuselage to the wing pretty cleanly, and the landing gear is in the formula as well. Next, the vertical stabilizers are deployed just by removing these screws, folding that up, replacing. The right vertical stabilizer doubles as the uh, Dragon Link antenna mast. Okay, next, so I have the three spars. The leading edge spar goes all the way through and protrudes into either main wing about six inches. And then the main spar goes in a channel to the midline right there, and then the opposite one. Same thing. So you can see that arrangement. And, the, and there is a stop installed inside the channel here so that the tip comes to that stop. Similarly, the main uh, or the leading edge has a stop so that keeps that centered. So that is threaded on there. I will hook up the aileron servo. Slides on fully. And then this uh, nylon screw is threaded up through the wing. Like that. She is ready to fly.